Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to pass a static data into our routes without showcasing on the URL. For understanding this, let me quickly jump into Visual Studio. And here I am using our routes and already I have explained about lazy loading along with the modular approach. In my previous video, I will use the same code and from there we will continue with the routes passing the data. So here if you see the demo, so I am in the register which is a default one. Let me hit enter and it is navigating to register and this is lazy loaded and when the user clicks on login, it is going with login 123. That means this 123 is visible on the URL. But whenever we want to pass the data which is in a hidden state and whenever I launch that particular route, I should get that data. So in that case, this will not work out. So for that purpose, route configuration is giving us is a data property. If you go to any of the route, so let me go into app routing module and here we have a register as a default one and we are using a lazy loading, hence this module will be loaded. So whenever it is loading a children, what I can do is I can just pass a data. So first what we'll do is I'll pass a data over modular level. That means I'm passing in the login. So whenever I pass here and login module is loaded and when the login module loads, it will load the routing module also, which is a default of ID. So now what the case is, let me use something like one more path with an empty and that should also go to login component. Let me consider like this. So component as login component so that we have two routes which are again navigating to the login component itself. but one is with a path as empty and one is with the path of ID. So let me save this and go to routing module and save this. Now inside this data, I'll pass something called as a role. I'm just giving an example like role and I'm giving admin. So now if the person want to access this at a modular level, because this module consists of two routes that indicates an empty route that is nothing but the default route as well as a login route. So in this case, what I can do is I can just go into login component and inside this we have something called as a constructor and let me create a service by using private activated route and then I can give activated route. From this activated route, I can access the data object. So let me go here and use something like this dot activated route dot snapshot dot data and let me console this console.log of this data and I want to access the role but let's print this data object. So let me go into the browser and here I can just go and type some login. So I'm in the login and if you see I got an object with a role as admin. This is one route and also I have something called as login slash one two three. So even that has a role as admin. That means both the routes, login route as well as login with ID route, they are able to access that data object which is passed at the modular level. That means whenever you are passing at a modular level, all the sub components or the sub routes of this module can access this data object. So that is one thing. And now what I'll do is I'll just go into register. Register have only one component and I'll just pass this data over here and I'll access a role which is something like user. So I'm giving a user role. And now this module contains only one routing path that is empty path and it goes to the register component. So here let me use constructor and let me use a private variable private activated route and the activated route is something like this. It's a service. And now let me use a console console.log of this dot activated route dot snapshot dot data and save this. Now let me go here and go into register. You can see a role with user. That means all the components under the register module can access the role as user, which is a static data. Now let me go here. And here we spoke about the root level of a particular module but if I pass the same data inside my login route so what will happen so for example I am going here I am passing one more parameter just I can use something like title and let me pass the title as login without ID and also let, let me pass a data object and inside this data object let me pass the title title colon 
login with id save this now what will happen this contains two different objects one is at the modular level of data object and at the component level of data object how this will be accessed so no need to change anything whenever you are accessing it because this is a data object at a component level and same thing we have at the modular level so whenever the modular level is combined with the component so this data object will be merged with our routing so if you see we have something called as routing of login which contains a data of title and routing which is a modular level and this is having a role so now the output of that component who is receiving it that means login component will have admin as well as the title whatever we are passing in the login route so let me go here and if you see just let me go into login with an id then you are able to receive a role with admin and the title with login with id but if you observe this role is coming from module and this title is coming from a component level so they both has been merged together and displayed whenever you are passing at the module level that will be common for each component of that particular module but how to override this for example if you want to uh, override the role in the login component so for example just i want to use a role this login component with empty should be for user and with id should be for user special role so let me save this now whenever i logged in with id then i'll be getting a user special so let me go here and you can see the role as user special and the title is login with id if i go and just use a login so what will happen here role is user and the title is login with user id that means whatever the property which we have in the last of your route that will be overridden if the property is same in this case the module has the role property and also the individual component have the role property that's why they are getting overridden for example if i remove this and save this what will happen this doesn't have any role that's why it will not override this particular object combines with this particular object and always the priority will go to the last object of that particular route so wherever you are writing a component that will have your final and prioritized data object if something is common then it will try to override with the component level of data so let me clear this and reload now you can see admin so for our understanding just let me go into the login component dot ts and let me create one role property which is a string and now which is of type string and it is empty so i don't have any value by default so what i can do is this dot role is equal to this dot activated route dot snapshot dot data dot what is that value we have uh, we have an value called as role so let me save this and let me display this role inside my html login role hyphen let me use this role with an interpolation save this go to the code you can see here this is admin role and if i go to login slash 123 then it is user special role so now we are able to display these values also and if you observe this we are using a snapshot even this can be accessed without using snapshot so let's try that in register component because we are using snapshot here let me change this let me give a role with a string format and uh, instead of using snapshot what we will do is i'll use activator route dot data dot subscribe in an observable pattern so let me go here and you will be receiving a value inside this observable that is any response and that will contain an object so when you receive that object you can get response dot role and that role can be added to this role and this role i can just use inside our component.html something like register role with interpolation and pass this role save this and if you go here and just go here into the register you can see user that means we can access this data in two ways one is by using a subscribe and one is by using the snapshot so 
this is how you can access your data properties from your route but here we saw a static data passing but even we can pass some set of data which is dynamic and that may be executed after a certain period of time that can also be possible by using your routes and that we will see in the upcoming videos by using resolvers but for now this is something where we can pass static data using data property of a route but if you observe here we are not able to see any of that values in your URL because we are not passing them as a params we are not passing them as a optional parameters so this can be passed from our routing configuration into our component level and also in the next upcoming video I'll show the same pattern in our standalone approach so we are covering two different cases one is modular and one is standalone here we have covered modular approach and in the upcoming video I'll show you how we can do the same thing in standalone hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you